I cut my hair. Um, if you haven't seen my video of my big chop, I will link the video in the description box. And if I can figure out how to do the cards, I'll put it somewhere up there. But it's been about eight months since I cut my hair. And I just took a shower and I just washed my hair. And I decided to do a video. I'm going to show you all how my hair looks. Um, when I cut it, I left the top a little longer. And the sides are regular, I guess. I didn't do a tapered look necessarily, but that's kind of what it was. My hair is about my hair is about shoulder length if I want to reach or whatever. Um, I just recently started being able to do like puffs. If you know me before I cut my hair, puffs were my go-to. I would literally sleep in a puff, wake up in the morning, wet it, put some cantu on it, and continue on for about like a week. I would do that all the time. It's been eight months, like I said. Most people usually do these videos in three-month increments. Um, I plan on getting box braids probably next week. So, I'll have braids during my nine months, but you'll take what I give you. That's how long my hair is in the front and goes to like my nose. I have noticed that I didn't cut my, ooh, okay, uh, but um, I didn't cut the top of my hair as much. And I do notice that my texture is looser up there. And I'm going to cut it once the rest of my hair gets this length so it can be even again. Um, my sides are also pretty long too, not as long, but pretty long. I've straightened it a couple times and it doesn't look bad straightened, but like I said, the top of my hair is a little different, so when I straighten it, the front of my hair, it's just not cute. Today, I'm doing a big, well, let me fix my hair because I'm not about to be on Al Gore's internet looking like this. Hold on. Let me. So, this year when I was at work, I saw this box and it's the miel the pomegranate and honey collection and i saw it but i had never heard of the brand before let me show you what the box looks like okay i had never heard of the brand before so i wasn't sure if i was going to buy it up right here this is a 30 dollars value and it only cost 9.99 at my store since i worked there i only pay like closer to eight with my discount Why? Well, it's may i don't know why i haven't used it yet but i'm going to review it today it is the pomegranate and honey collection. It says it's a prom plus defining style system, number one for thick, curly, type 4 hair. And this has a leave-in conditioner in it and a twisting souffle and a comb in the back. Um, my hair is not necessarily 4A. It's kind of a 3... Ah, I might be wrong with the letter. I don't want to say it and then y'all bash me. It's like a 3B, 3C, possibly a little or something in there. Today I'm going to do is I'm going to use a leave-in conditioner. This is the bottle. This is the full size. These products usually run between like $11 and $13. They sell it in Walmart, Walgreens, Sally's. They probably sell it other places but I never really look for it anywhere. And I'm either going to do a wash and go and still use this or I'm going to do a finger coil and then before I leave or later on, I'm going to take it out and see how it looks. And then here is the Twisted Souffle. And it's nice packaging. I don't know what I thought this was going to smell like, but it kind of doesn't... It doesn't really smell like anything. I, I really just bought it close to the camera like y'all can get to smell it. <laughs> mm. Um, it says it's pomegranate and honey. I don't really smell honey, I don't smell pomegranate. It kind of has borderline of a, almost a slight coconut smell to it, in my opinion. And this is a leave-in conditioner, also a full size. Okay, this one I smell a little bit of pomegranate. Okay. Again, water got to get out. It says, our pomegranate and honey collection is a prom defined, okay, I already read that. Um, Pomegranate and honey leave-in conditioner is a moisture sealing and cuticle smoothing to prime natural curls, creating the optimal foundation for deeper, long-lasting curl definition. Okay, so I just washed my hair like I told you. It's still damp. It's not like drenching wet. And I'm going to use the leave-in conditioner. I, I guess I'm going to detangle my hair. I don't really like how my hair looks detangled. I'd rather go with the how it is type look but i'm gonna just detangle a little bit just for the reason they have a comb in here why not oh you 
get a body in my hair? Uh -huh. <laughs> Stiff wear. Oh, okay. Anyway, here's the product. I'm gonna use a generous amount. Use about that much. Okay. Oh, wow, that's a lot. Okay. Yeah, I, it smells kind of like perfume a little bit. I can't think of what perfume it smells like to me, but it does smell a little perfumey. Ooh, you see how tall my hair is? Okay. I usually just finger to tangle my hair. So that's kind of what I'm doing. I'm not just pulling my hair for no reason. Y'all, I found a gray hair the other day. And it was like right here. I can't, I'm telling you this, just in case you see another one. I don't want y'all to come at me. Pray for me, y'all. Okay. I feel like my hair is pretty moisturized. I'm gonna add a little bit more because why not? I think I'm gonna do a wash and go. Um, basically a wash and go with the side part. Took my edges down a little bit. So my friend told me to use Evan. She said she used the purple one, so I got the same one she got. Um, this was, I'm gonna say $5 at the beauty supply store. Let me get a little closer. Again, excuse my pores, but whatever. Okay, so you part your hair however you want to. I always put my part on my left side. Too free. Okay. But I'm going to use a little bit of this twist and souffle. Not enough to the point where it's only the cast of my hair. I'm going to just use, I'm going to start off with this amount first because I don't want to OD. This is thick. This feels like shea butter. Mm, you might not need to put this in my hair right now. Okay. If you use the Cream of Nature Honey, uh, I think it's Deep Mass, Mass Repair. I didn't set a picture of it. I use that, and this feels a lot like that product. It is heavy, okay? I could definitely see doing a twist out and my curls coming out juicy with this. I always add just a little bit of gel to my hair because... Since my hair is a little different texture in the front. Ooh, something got in my eye. A piece of hair got in my eye. Y'all see that? I got lengths now. That hair can get in my eye. <laughs> but I put this a little bit just so that when certain spots dry, they don't get super poofy. Or what's the word that everybody uses? Frizzy. So I'm just going to do that real quick. Clip from my first wig. Y'all, I want a wig. I'm going to do a video on the hair. But that's a different story. Okay, so I'm gonna take some edge control, put it on my edges. I use a generous amount. I low key just put hella edge control on this one spot, but it's okay. We're gonna work with it. When I tell you, I don't know if y'all can. Okay, when I tell you, this edge control ain't going nowhere. Uh, y'all see how this what? This shit ain't going nowhere, okay? Nowhere. Mm -hmm. Ooh, what? Y'all see how? I'm not even being dramatic. This shit is not going anywhere. Ooh, ooh. Who ain't got no edges? Cause I do. I was trying to say T9, but whatever. Okay, that little corner on my hair never works out for me, and I don't know why I keep trying to force it, but I'm going to still do it anyway. Let me tell y'all, when I first cut my hair, I didn't know how to do my edges, so I would be looking real hurt out here. Like, I almost always have done it like the three thing, but mm, I can't tell. Does that look good? I think it looks good. Maybe I should close the blinds and I'll be able to see better. I do my edges the same way every time, so I'm pretty sure it looks good. This is random, but Dawn is my best friend. Just want y'all to know that. Been my bitch since April of 2015. My most consistent friend that I've had like all my life. She just texts me and likes my tweet on Twitter. I would tell y'all to follow me, but my page is private right now, so when I make it unprivate, I'll tell y'all to follow me. If you 
gonna try this edge control. Don't try it unless you know how to get your edges right. Because if you're practicing with this, you won't be in for a rude awakening. It is a 24 hour edge tamer extra firm hole. And it doesn't really get greasy because that's one thing I hate about most edge controls. They leave like a greasy film on my skin and I break out so easily. So I've been doing the hair wraps all week, like I said, and I haven't had that issue. And it actually lasts a couple days too. Well, two days because I usually restart it. I'm going to go get a pick real quick. Okay. I took my part just a little too far back, but it's okay because... Okay, so I usually just shake my hair a little bit, try to get that shape out, and then I just fix my hair to be how I want it. My hair is still a little wet, so it's going to be a little shorter. When it dries, it's going to look a little different. I'm just gonna see my content with that. I'm content with how it looks. Let me fix that. Maybe not this side. I can deal with that. Okay. So when my hair dries, I'll come back and show you how it looks. So it's later on in the day, I've been out and I've been back and I actually stopped at Target and I saw some of the products that they sell there. I'm going to insert a clip somewhere around here and show you all. But overall, I like how this product is held up. My hair is very moisturized, very shiny. Um, my edge control did not melt, surprisingly, and it's 94 degrees here in Greensboro. So I'm very pleased. Um, I think y'all should try the product, see for yourself if you like it. It is worth the price. I personally would recommend the leave-in conditioner and the souffle only because I've actually tried them and they did not fail me. I hope you all liked the video. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe, click the bell so you can get my notifications. Look at some other videos. Be sure to watch my Big Chop video so you can kind of see where I'm coming from, see my progress. Um, I think that's about it. Thank you for watching. Bye.